everybody and welcome back to my opera channel. It has been a minute since you last saw my face and today was just the kind of day where once again I couldn't get myself motivated for anything but I knew I wanted to get back into filming something today and couldn't figure out how. I mean I knew how but you know what I mean. My pajamas were hugging me and my blanket was keeping us all warm and the next video starting in 15 seconds function made sure we were entertained for longer than we should have been. But luckily I threw the wrong water card out the window for my housemates to pay the water bill and I decided to correct my mistake and go out myself and do it which ended up in me getting some really creative juices going and using my phone as a vlogging camera. It's really amazing what these things can do. And found myself taking a really, really long walk to Waterloo Park in Highgate. My housemates are probably wondering how paying the water bill is taking me so long. Almost left the park now when I wanted to go that way. Well, you know, just casual walking. No makeup, great park day, lazy Sunday. Let's go find Karl Marx's tomb. The past couple of weeks, I really lost my motivation for pretty much everything, which is only normal, really. It's the end of term, we are about to go on break, and it has been very busy. So I hit a wall where the only thing I could feel myself doing well was taking a nap. This is what happens when you're lazy and don't leave the house. Can't show you Karl Marx's tomb. Maybe another time, but yeah, London Cemetery. Whenever I go through a motivational, emotional, or mental setback, it's really hard for me to snap out of it. I always feel at those moments like I can't be my own support system anymore, like adulting is just beyond me, that I just wish someone else would do it all for me. Thankfully, for the past week, I had a very special visitor that knew exactly what I needed, but sadly, he's gone. Hopefully, he'll be back soon. I'm running out of time. I kind of want to get up to the top and then I'll leave through the top. Being on your own in a different country, not as a visitor, but actually moving and living and trying to build up connections and friendships, it's so easy to fall into that pit of feeling as though you are all alone. No one is there for you and that the loneliness is just too hard to handle. The fact that every single one of your close friends that you actually know and actually knows you and family that you love, every one of them is a phone call away. And you don't want to talk about your day and you don't really want to talk actually about anything. You just want a hug and someone to make you a cup of tea or a bowl of soup. To be honest, I really want to say everyone is going through something. And don't feel sorry for yourself because if it wasn't this, it would be something else. But I'm actually trying this new thing where I'm trying to be kind to myself. So yes, it's shit. You are alone and you feel lonely. Relax. Take a breath. The world won't end because you took a moment to yourself. So take it and celebrate the achievements that you have done while it has been difficult for you to get out of bed. And on that note, here are some announcements and achievements. Number one, I have completed two terms at the Royal Academy of Music, which two years ago, I never actually believed I would say. And you've been living in London for 10 months now? Something like that. Number two, I hit 600 subscribers. And yes, I am celebrating. It's important to celebrate every single milestone. And also, probably a year ago, as hopeful as I was, I didn't really believe I could do it. Number three, and here's one for you guys too. If you like parks and opera and obviously tea as well, well, I have a really exciting announcement about that. I'm partnering up with Water Perry Opera Festival and Sauce National Student Opera Society and Opera Shack this summer for a whole day discussing young people and opera. All of the links are down below, so go check that out and I hope to see you there. It's gonna be a great day. I'm really, really excited. And number four, this might not be quite an achievement, more like me getting over fear and anxiety about putting myself out there as a YouTuber, but I have decided to go to Summer in the City this August and learn more about how to better my YouTube game. If you're going to be there, let me know. I would love to see you and get to know you guys. That's all folks, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to go home now because my fingers are getting cold because I did not expect to do so much walking. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to be back on schedule starting this week. Keep yourself updated by don't forgetting to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video and follow me on social media so you can be notified when I skip a week or something or when a new video actually does come out because who knows? YouTube might not mention it. But yeah, follow me on all the social media platforms. They are all here. Ta-da! In the meantime, have a great, 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 great week. Don't forget to drink lots and lots of tea, which I forgot to take on my walk today, which is very unusual. Proof, I was just going to pay a bill 
and found myself walking. Anyway, don't forget to drink lots and lots of tea, have a great, great week, and don't forget to go see an opera. And when you're there or doing anything related to opera or just want to check in, use the hashtag Diva Studies and I will find you and stay connected with whatever you're doing because I'm interested. Who are you guys? Thanks for watching my videos. Anyway, all the best. Have a great week. Thank you.